Hi guys, today we're unboxing this charge controller. Uh, this is going to be a part of a bigger build, so I'm just unboxing this so that you can see what's in the box and what you get. So this is a MPPT, MPPT charge controller from EP Ever, and it is uh, for actually lithium and normal deep cycle. I mean lead acid batteries so you can set the charge rates on these and whatever so that that's why i'm getting this um on the bottom of the or the front of the box you've got that little description all the features here it says mppt charge controller 99 percent or 99.5 percent efficient with the tracking and 98 percent efficient of con in converting the solar into chargeable power and then it's got a nice little feature here, RS-485 communication port. So let's see what you get in the box. Um, well, on this side it says it's got circuit protection and current, you know, your short circuit and overcurrent and reverse polarity protection. So it's got all the features that it should have. Uh, that's just a little diagram of stuff you can do with it. At the moment, there is no connection for a mobile app here. It's just um, it's just showing that you can connect a remote control with this and that and the PC. So what you can do with it uh, out of the box is if you have a battery and a solar panel and a, and a load, you can connect this directly and it'll manage it. Um, there's the little label of what you get here. This is a 12 and 24 volt charge controller for lithium and deep cycle um, lead acid <clears throat> you can see on 12 volt it can do 390 amp uh, watts and on 70 uh, i mean on 24 volt it can do 780 watts it does have a, a pv limit of 100 volts so you can't connect more than 100 volts of pv to this the, that's the open open voltage circuit limit so there you go that's the box let's quickly get this thing out okay you've got a booklet here and let's see front to back on this booklet is english so it's a complete user's guide and information guide on what this thing can do so thoroughly described in the little booklet that comes with it what you can do with it and how to install it there it shows 150 millimeters from i believe obstacles and what that's for the ventilation and there's the different models of the smaller and bigger brothers of this and what they can do i see here um load wire should be 12 gauge on the 10 amp and 10 gauge on the 20 amp and 8 gauge on the 30 amp so i've got cables here that's much thicker than this and we're going to see if we can fit them into the connectors i think my smallest cable that i've got here is about four four gauge so that's the booklet and then you've got this little temperature temperature sensor that can plug into the device um, you can just uh, i believe connect this to your lead acid batteries or not connect it to put it near, near your lead acid batteries so it can sense the temperature of those and yeah that's it for what's in the box here's the charge controller so it's quite heavy feels quite sturdy it's got a it's got a a decent heat sink at the back little holes where you can connect it to your board or whatever you're putting this on top side of the thing so you see this is the 30 amp one and it's a plastic design but it doesn't feel too cheap or anything like that it feels like a good sturdy design better than some of the other ones i've seen there's your terminal screws Temperature sensor and communications. So there's that temperature sensor I spoke about. Communication port, RS-485 port. And there's the terminals. So let's open up one of them and see what's the thickest cable I can get in there. But I actually already know it's, it's about a 
16 mil or maybe the 25 mil can also fit in there the four gauge so i've got good quality cables here and we can we can just put them in there and see how they fit or if they even fit so just to give you an idea these are the cables i've got here this is like a four gauge cable very very thick um i think this is just very it's impossible to get into these kind of terminals because it's so thin this is a multi-strand very very good quality cable that comes with the pylon tech batteries so it's got it can it can handle quite a load on those uh here we've got a 25 mil and a 16 mil cable so let's quickly see the 16 mil i'm just going to put it into the positive terminal of the battery on the battery side obviously the solar side will be four or six mil but okay this um this is the 16 mil so if i put it in there goes in very easy so then just to give you an idea this is 16 mil and this is a 50 mil <laughs> there's quite a difference between the two this will ob obviously never fit in there so let's quickly see the this is a 25 mil i'm just trying to get all these little cables nice and straight so 25 mil i don't know how much um if it's if it's 10 gauge or, or what eight gauge maybe um oh yeah that this might be four yeah this is four gauge i think so sticking it in there goes in into the connector just so the maximum gauge cable will be like a, a four gauge uh, but yeah that's that's pushing it pushing it very very far <laughs> so let's just stick with what they recommend and uh yeah the connector does feel sturdy and it, it's the screwdriver fits in there very nicely and uh, i think it, it feels and looks like a, the right device for the project i'm busy with so thanks for watching and uh, maybe I'll see you in the next video.